to all those who are facing addiction and those who are on the path to recovery from drugs and alcohol. Change begins when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of making a change. It's a profound realization that often propels us to take that first step towards recovery. I want you to understand that your past with all its fears, doubts, and embarrassments can become the foundation for a future you'll be immensely proud of. Be mindful of what you focus on as it shapes the world around you. If your world seems negative, ask yourself if you're aiming at the right things. Many of us suffer within the confines of our comfort zones, trying to add things to our lives to escape the prisons of our minds and emotions. But true liberation often comes from pursuing our dreams and potential. Write down the top three things you need to do to achieve sobriety, and then go and do them. Imagine the progress you can make if you do this consistently for five years. Stop negotiating the price of your dreams. Any price is worth it as long as it's legal, ethical, and moral. Your loved ones, your dreams, your legacy, these are worth the sacrifice. Remember that the opinions of others fade over time. What truly matters is what you believe about yourself. You may lose some friends on this journey, but the ones who support your growth and recovery are the ones you want by your side. And sometimes your strength and determination may inspire your friends to follow a similar path. Contemplate the price of an action and the cost of not pursuing your dreams. Embrace self-doubt as a challenge, a sign that you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Change isn't just for those who need it, it's for those who want it, who are willing to take action. Don't let fear paralyze you and keep you from recovery. Instead, let it excite you. Challenge yourself and see what you're truly capable of. You have the power to change your focus, which can, in turn, change your life. Think about your future. Imagine where you'll be in 10 years if you keep doing what you're doing right now. You don't need to hit rock bottom to make changes. Change is always within reach if you're willing. Remember, willingness is born out of a desire to survive and a willingness to change comes from pain. Use your pain to propel your recovery. Focus in on what you want and take consistent action towards your recovery goals. Your actions, not your emotions, define you. You can choose to take action even when you're not feeling your best. What you focus on is what you feel, so shift your focus toward positive change. Consider this, 10 years from now, you can be strung out on drugs and alcohol, or you could shift your focus toward positive change. What's more frightening, action or inaction? Don't let others' opinions dictate your path. Focus on what truly matters, your loved ones and your dreams. Even when people don't support you, do it anyway. Your journey is about your growth and progress, not their opinions. In the end, allow yourself to be open and vulnerable because what is hidden cannot be healed. Together, through healing and trust, we can find 
healing. Remember, you can fight and in fighting, you can win. Even in the face of defeat, you can stand tall and that is a victory in itself. Be the one good thing in a world of challenges. You have the power to change, to take action, and to shape your destiny. Your spirit will never surrender, and together we can overcome. With unwavering support and belief in your strength, courage, and addiction, you've got this. I used to believe that being falsely accused of a public crime was the worst ordeal one could endure. 
but firsthand experience has taught me that there's something even more distracting. The realization that in your hour of need, people you thought were allies would actively work against you. You see, I have a deep-rooted commitment to service. I've devoted my time to volunteering in Africa, created initiatives to combat sexual and domestic violence, and taught English as a separate language around the world. My passion for working with less privileged individuals is undeniable, but it has come with a significant cost. Whenever you endeavor to bring about change, resistance tends to be your initial beginning. Achieving success in the company of those who may not have reached the same height can breed resentment. If you're not cautious, you may begin to believe that people are drawn to you because they genuinely care about you, when in reality, they may just be seeking to take advantage of your capabilities. The distinction becomes abundantly clear when you find yourself under scrutiny and those who lack the courage to follow in their footsteps are given the opportunity to undermine you. I share this not as a form of boasting, but to encourage you to ponder on your own journey towards success, especially in terms of sobriety. Is it conceivable that your struggles with sobriety are linked to the company you keep? Have you considered the possibility that your commitment to sobriety might extend to those around you, leading them to cautiously or subconsciously engage in behaviors that keep you ensnared in addiction? If, like me, you value validation and the affection of others, the thought of not being liked can be a powerful temptation, often compelling you to compromise your values to maintain their approval. I've lost count of how many times I've dimmed my own light to make others feel comfortable. What I can tell you is that when I needed these very people the most, the ones I'd hit over backwards to please, they were conspicuously at Most often, we fall short of our goals not because we set our sights too high and miss the mark, but because we underestimate our potential and succeed. We become preoccupied with how we're perceived by others, all while they are primarily focused on themselves. The truth is, these individuals who favor we strive to win would be content if we didn't attain sobriety, even if they don't explicitly express it. But here's a crucial thought to ponder. When your time in this world comes to an end, you'll be held accountable for yourself, not for the opinion or actions of your friends, family, or anyone else. Is it truly worth surrendering your power to friends today only to confront the possible repercussions in the hereafter, whatever they may be? The answer to that lies with you. And only you. I strongly urge you to reconsider any relationship with so called friends who have at any point during this speech made you question your self worth. Trust your instinct. They're your true friends. Concerned for your well being. With unwavering determination, you can lead a fulfilling, rewarding, and sober life. And that path can unfold far more swiftly once you eliminate toxic influences from your life. So, are you prepared to break free from toxic relationships today and step into the life of recovery that you truly deserve?
Dear Warriors on the Path to Recovery, We gather here today, united by the strength and wisdom that resides within us. Our journey to recovery is not an easy one, and letting go of the past can be incredibly challenging. We've worked tirelessly to reach the point we're at now, but here's the truth. Every challenge we face requires unwavering focus, faith, dedication, and discipline. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, but there's no reason to be down on yourself. There's no reason to harbor sadness, and in reality, we are so much more. We must keep looking up, even on those days when it feels like the world is crashing down on us. There will be moments when you question your strength and your will to carry on. Days when you just want to give up. But you must remember that giving up is not an option. Instead of complaining or wallowing in despair, we need to channel our energies towards planning for our sobriety. Plan for the attack. Plan to do better. Plan to rise higher. Plan to do what's right for ourselves. Understand that this moment, this struggle, this issue with sobriety is just another chapter in your life, another testimony you will share with others. You will show them that you've been knocked down, but every time you've got back up. Believe, have faith, and trust. These are your weapons to get to sobriety. Let it be known that you are the best, and the best knows that they will not give up. This is the time to understand what you are dealing with. Face your challenges head on and trust yourself. You can't change others and not everyone will share your same goal for sobriety. It's easy to get caught up in the complaints and expectations, but sometimes you have to stay in your lane and go your own way. As long as your heart is beating and your eyes are open, you have the strength within you to get back up. Life is work. Your purpose is work, and sobriety is work. They all require your effort and dedication. Find your sanctuary, a place where no one else can touch you, a place of peace and harmony. Believe in yourself when no one else does. No one deserves the power to steal you from your happiness. No one deserves your sobriety. The best never quits. The best knows how to rise again. The best doesn't linger on the ground for too long because they understand that even when they are down, they possess the capability to rise once more. Work, effort, and purpose are the ingredients of sobriety. Negative influences can block your view of the promised land, the truth within yourself. You may wonder why certain setbacks happen, but sometimes they are just part of the journey. As long as you have a beating heart, functioning lungs and open eyes, you will rise again. Believe in yourself, work towards your potential Trust in your capabilities and fight for what you can achieve. This is the fight of your life and you will work, push and stand tall. You will not bow down, you will not give up and you will fight for everything you have today and for the rest of your life. Be productive, be strong, and from the bottom of my heart, I encourage you to conduct your business, the business of transformation, growth, resilience, and sobriety. Get up and go to work. 
for you have the strength and wisdom within you to rise strong and embrace success in your recovery journey. My dear friends, if you're on a journey of recovery, remember that to change your life, you must change your physiology and your focus. It's not about seeking wealth. It's about seeking a better you. In your pursuit of recovery, go all in. Make a commitment that this isn't a gamble, but a dedication to your own well-being. Learn to navigate this space so well that you say, I know for sure this will work. You can't expect an ordinary life with standard education. For all leaders, especially in the journey of recovery, the breakthrough lies in constant, never-ending improvement. Educate yourself, develop emotional mastery, and watch your execution thrive. The opportunity for self-education is right in front of you. Change your psychology from frustration to empowerment. Understand that this moment is the greatest time to be alive if you focus on growth, learning, and the development of new skills. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, shared his most crucial investment, Dale Carnegie's course. He recognized that developing himself was the most valuable investment. Learning to persuade, speak, and influence saved his ideas from fading away. Every living soul is allotted the same amount of time. It's how you use it that counts. Make your time matter. Engage in activities that bring you closer to your recovery goals. And remember, progress equals happiness. You are unique and your past experiences are part of your authenticity. Embrace your challenges for they are the gifts that make special. Recovery is a journey and the path may not look like anyone else's and that's the beauty of it. As you reflect on your journey of recovery, ask yourself, what do you truly want to become? What do you want to experience, contribute, and master? What does recovery look like to you? Create a compelling vision and take massive action towards it. Recovery is about reclaiming your life. Today, as you begin your journey, remember that recovery is not just possible, it's within reach. Believe in yourself, focus on your growth, and take action. You have the power to change your life and create a better tomorrow. Start your day off right, my friends, and embrace the possibilities that recovery brings. My dear friend, today I want to talk to you about the incredible journey of life and your remarkable capacity for change. I know that you're currently facing the challenges of addiction, but I want you to understand that there's immense power within you to overcome this obstacle. First and foremost, remember you are not defined by your addiction. It does not define your worth, your potential, or your future. It's simply a part of your journey, but it doesn't have to be the destination. Now, let's explore the reasons behind why you turned to drugs in the first place. Maybe it was an attempt to find pleasure or escape from pain. Perhaps it was a way to cope with stress or numb emotional turmoil. Whatever the reason, know that you can change the course of your life. Consider this. Life is like a canvas and you are the artist. Your past may have painted some dark strokes, but you hold the brush now. You can choose to repaint your future with vibrant, beautiful colors. It starts with a decision. 
a decision to pursue something greater, something extraordinary. Sobriety has many benefits. Here are three of them. Number one, you can rediscover the joy of living. You've experienced fleeting moments of pleasure through drugs, but I urge you to seek joy in living itself. Life offers an array of beautiful experiences from the warmth of a sunrise to the laughter of friends. Embrace these moments as they come and savor them. Number two, heal your pain with resilience. Instead of using drugs as a temporary escape from pain, consider facing your pain head on. It's a brave and challenging path, but it's also the path to healing and growth. Seek support from professionals, friends, and support groups to help you navigate these difficult emotions. Number three, unlock your full potential. Within you, there's untapped potential waiting to be unleashed. Picture a future where you're in control, where your dreams and ambitions are within reach. You have the power to shape that future by breaking free from addiction. It won't be easy, and there will be setbacks along the way. But remember, the greatest works of art are often born from struggles and resilience. The journey to recovery is your masterpiece in the making, and every day is a chance to add more vibrant colors to your canvas. So my friend, I challenge you to shift your focus from the least I need to do mentality to what's the most I can bear mindset. Embrace the process, for it's in the daily grind and small victories that you'll rebuild your life. In the end, it's not about becoming a champion overnight. It's about delivering a championship performance every day, showing up for yourself, facing your challenges, and making the choices that lead to a brighter future. You have the power within you to overcome addiction and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever. Your life is a work of art in progress, and I can't wait to see the masterpiece you create. Keep moving forward, one brush stroke at a time. Your triumph over addiction is on the horizon, and your best days are yet to come. My dear friends, I want to speak to you about something profoundly important as you navigate the path of addiction recovery, self-love. It's a journey that can be challenging and at times overwhelming. I want you to know that you are not alone and your recovery is worth every effort. The question I like to pose is this, how much love do you have for yourself? Self-love, my friends, is not about material possession, money, or superficial judgment. It's not about external validation or appearances. Self-love is something deeper, something intrinsic to your being. It's the acknowledgement of your worth, your value, and the recognition that you don't need external approval to understand it. Self-love is the understanding that you are more than the sum of your past actions and mistakes. It's about saying, I love myself independently of others' opinions. I believe in me. I know my worth. I am here and I have a purpose. 
Self-love means forgiving, not just others, but also yourself. It's about giving up the hope that the past could have been different and accepting that it has happened. Forgiveness doesn't mean accepting that what happened to you is okay. It's about acknowledging that it happened and asking, what can I do about it now? Forgiving is giving up the hope that the past could be any different than it was. Once we grasp this concept, we elevate ourselves to a higher level of self-acceptance and growth. It allows us to let go of grudges, to release ourselves from the past that may hold us prisoner. Life is cyclical, and whatever you're experiencing now is transient. It's here to pass, not to stay. One of the greatest challenges is understanding that this too shall pass. It's about maintaining perspective, putting things in the right context, and finding the strength within you to move forward. As you reinvent yourself, describe the person you want to become. Identify the qualities you need to overcome and those you must nurture. Seek guidance from trusted individuals who care about you, even when their feedback may hurt. It's from these moments of discomfort that you can grow and evolve. In your journey towards greatness and a happy, successful, and healthy life, you may find that you need to harness your will and go against the tide. This path requires resilience, courage, and a belief in yourself. Remember that self-love is a fundamental part of your recovery journey, and it will carry you through challenging times. So my dear friends, Continue to believe in yourself, to forgive, and to let go. And know that you are capable of achieving greatness. Today I stand before you with a heart filled with compassion, empathy, and a profound belief in your strength and resilience. We gather here not as strangers, but as a united community of individuals who understand the struggles of addiction. Together we will embrace the power within us to overcome the seemingly insurmountable challenges that addiction presents. Let me be candid with you. Addiction is a formidable adversary. It has the power to cloud our judgment, diminish our self-worth, and lead us down a path of despair. Yet here's the most crucial truth. You are not alone in this battle. You are not powerless even though addiction may have convinced you otherwise. One of the most profound lessons in the journey to recovery is acknowledging that we are indeed powerless over our addiction. It takes immense courage to look in the mirror and admit that the substances we once believed gave us relief have now taken control. It's in this humility that we discover a key to freedom. Surrendering to a higher power, whether you call it the universe, a divine force, God, or your inner strength, is the first step toward liberation. Seek within yourself, deep into the core of your being, and ask for assistance. You possess an inner strength that is boundless and capable of incredible feats. You have the power to reclaim your life, 
to rediscover your worth and to mend the relationships that addiction may have strained. Remember the wise words of a great thinker who once said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's time to ask yourselves, when do you plan to do something different? When will you take that courageous step towards change? My friends, the time is now. Embrace this moment as an opportunity for transformation, for rebirth, and for the creation of a brighter future. I encourage you to realize that you are not defined by your past mistakes but rather by the strength and resilience that lies within you. Each day is a chance to make choices that lead you away from the chains of addiction and towards the freedom of recovery. Every step you take is a victory and with each victory you become more empowered and more alive. Surround yourselves with a support system that understands and believes in your journey. Seek guidance from those who have walked this path before you, for their wisdom can be a guiding light in the darkest of times. You have the power to rewrite your story, to paint your life's canvas with bright colors of hope, love and discovery as you embark on this journey remember that it is not a journey of perfection but one of progress be gentle with yourselves forgive your past and embrace the beautiful possibilities that await you in closing I want you to know that you are stronger than you realize more resilient than you can imagine, and capable of achieving the extraordinary. The world is waiting for the incredible gifts that you, in your full potential, can bring. So I ask you, when do you plan to do something different? The answer is simple, now. Together we rise with the chains of addiction, one step, one day at a time. You are not alone in this battle. And with unwavering determination and the support of your higher power, you will conquer it. Your brighter, sober future is within reach. And I believe in each and every one of you. You've got this.
Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and those who have embarked on the courageous journey of recovery. Today I stand before you with a story that is deeply personal. A story of my own incarceration, adversity, and the unwavering strength of the human spirit. I've shared with you the profound impact of my mother's addiction on my life, but today I want to talk about how it affected my freedom and the unexpected path that led me to where I am now. In my relentless effort to serve addicts who were just like my mother, I ran a federally funded program. It was my mission to make a difference, to provide support, and to give hope to those who needed it most. However, unbeknownst to me, there was an issue, an issue with inconsistent paperwork that threatened everything I had worked so hard to build. It was a moment of reckoning when I realized the gravity of the situation. I had over 18 women and children in my custody and the program's paperwork was not in order. I knew firsthand how vital recovery efforts were, having witnessed the devastating impact of addiction on my own family. In a desperate attempt to rectify the situation, I made a decision, one that would change the course of my life forever. I chose to lie on the forms, but later proved to the government that the funds had indeed been used to serve these women. It was a decision that came with immense risks, including the possibility of facing a 10 year sentence. Yet, I believed in the importance of what I was doing and I was willing to do whatever it took to ensure that these women and children received the help that they desperately needed. As the investigation unfolded, my life became a daily battle. For seven long years, I lived with the weight of uncertainty the fear of what the future might hold, and the constant threat of losing my freedom. There were moments when I thought I would give up, when despair seemed to be my only companion. But here's what I want you to understand, and it's a truth that applies to every single one of you on your journey to recovery. Consistency, effort, and faith can carry you through the lowest moments of your life. I survived those harrowing seven years, the fear and the uncertainty. In the end, I received a four month sentence, a sentence that while brief was paramount in reshaping my perspective on life. If I could endure that investigation, if I could find the strength to face my fears head on and fight the United States government for seven long years. And if I could survive the darkest of days, then I know, I want you to know without a shadow of doubt that you can survive addiction. Believe in yourself, believe in your resilience, believe in the transformative power of recovery. It's not a matter of if, but when you will overcome. Your journey may be filled with challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt, but remember this, you are not alone. You are part of a community that believes in your potential for change, just as I believed in the potential for change for those women and children I sought to help. I served four months in a federal prison. And while I take responsibility for my decision, I'm asking for a commitment from you. If my four months could give you the motivation to get sober today, it would be more than worth the sacrifice. Will you reach for sobriety? today? Recovery is a journey that requires faith, effort, and consistency. It's about taking one step at a time, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. 
It's about believing in yourself, just as I believed in myself during those times. So if I survive the storm, if I found my way through the darkest of nights, I want you to know you can too. Believe in the power of your recovery. Hold fast to your faith and remember that no matter how difficult the journey may be, there is hope on the horizon. Thank you for allowing me to share my story with you today. May it serve as a reminder that no obstacle is insurmountable and that with unwavering belief in yourself, you can overcome anything that stands in the way of your recovery. Now I have one last question before you go. Will you please not let my four month sentence go in vain? Start your journey to sobriety today. Thank you. What makes it worth it? When life seems to be trampling you, when everything that can go wrong does go wrong, what keeps you going? We might not know what you're going through right now, but we want you to remember one thing. If you can find a why for a living, you can endure almost any how. You may be facing addiction, and that's one of the toughest battles one can endure. Addiction can make you feel like an unending struggle, with each day more challenging than the last. But in the depths of these trials, there's something within you, something worth fighting for. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. There are countless individuals who have walked a similar path faced their demons and emerged stronger and more resilient. You too can find that strength within yourself. What is your purpose? What is the reason you want to overcome addiction and face life challenges head on? Your why is your driving force, your motivation to keep pushing forward. 
The journey to recovery may be filled with obstacles, but your purpose is your guiding light, your North Star. It's the beacon of hope that leads you through the darkest night, reminding you that there is something worth fighting for. Life's storms can be relentless, and addiction can feel like a tempest that refuses to pass. But remember this, you are not defined by your struggles. You are defined by your resilience. Resilience is the quality that enables you to weather the harshest of storms. It's the inner strength that says, I won't be defeated. In the face of adversity, it's not about asking, why me? It's about saying, I can handle this. I can endure it. We all want to be like a beast, but what exactly is a beast? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are still working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to rebuild and become even stronger. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and say, Roger, that. I'm going to harness this and it's only up from here. I'm going to come back even stronger. So be the beast within you. Embrace the challenges for they are the stepping stones to your ultimate transformation. Struggle and adversity are not your enemies. They are your allies in the journey to recovery. Just as seeds need dirt on top of it to grow, you need these challenges to build your character, to give you the strength to push through when you feel like giving up. Remember, everybody faces their own version of dirt, but it's how you push through that defines your path to success. The valley might be ugly, but the peak is beautiful and it will all be worth it. So never stop climbing. Confidence is not the absence of fear, it's the willingness to confront it. People who succeed are often the most afraid, but they don't let fear define their destiny. They take action despite the fear. To find your confidence, attack your fears head on. Conquer the hard things that lie in your path and as you overcome them, you'll discover newfound confidence. Your attitude and mindset are the most potent weapons. Your mindset shapes your reality and your attitudes determine your altitude. To succeed, you must believe in yourself and your ability to achieve your goals and the power of positivity. Block out the noise, the doubts, the naysayers. Listen to your inner voice, the one that tells you that anything is possible. You've got what it takes and you can make it happen. The most critical factor in winning is the power of believing in yourself. Believe in your potential, believe in your dreams, and believe in your ability to make them come true. The moment you decide that you can win, that you can achieve your goals, you unleash a powerful force within you. Your belief becomes your driving force propelling you forward even when the path is tough. Your life is a journey and you're fighting for it every day. Your actions, decisions, and choices define the path you'll follow, the legacy you'll leave, and the mark you'll make on this world. Don't be passive. Be the aggressor in your life. Don't let life happen to you. Make life afraid to mess with you. You are relentless. You never stop and you never quit. It's your determination and your resilience that can make the difference. In every hero's journey, there's a struggle. There are losses. There are setbacks and there are obstacles. But it's these challenges that propel you forward. They are the test you must pass to reach greatness. Every obstacle you face is an opportunity to grow, to become a better version of yourself. Embrace the struggle, for it is the forge that shapes you into the hero 
of your own story. Success is not only about skill, it's about stamina. It's about the ability to keep going when the road is long and filled with obstacles. You might face adversity and opposition, but that's when you need to rise above it. Prove the doubters wrong and succeed. Your endurance is your superpower, your ability to withstand the storms and your unwavering commitment to your journey. Don't be afraid of failure. It's not the end. Failure is merely a step in your journey. It's an opportunity to learn, grow, and improve. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Failure becomes your teacher, your guide, and your source of wisdom. It's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you rise again. Keep going. Your breakthrough is closer than you think. Your purpose is your guiding light, your motivation, and your reason to keep pushing forward. In the darkest moments, it's your why. That will keep you on the path to recovery. As you face the storms of life, embrace your resilience, find your why, and remember, you are not alone. You are stronger than you think, and there is something worth fighting for. Don't just talk about your destiny, live it. Don't wait for the perfect moment, create it. Your life is at stake and every day is an opportunity to shape your future. Make a list, put your back against the wall and execute it. Don't worry about how or the what ifs, just take action and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. The journey is not easy but it's worth every step. It's the struggles, the losses, the setbacks that mold you into the person you're meant to be. Don't give up, don't give in and keep pushing forward. You are unbreakable. This video is a reminder that you have the strength to overcome any challenge, including addiction. Keep your purpose in sight, embrace your resilience, and face your fears head on. You are not alone in this journey and there is something worth fighting for. So take action, keep going, and don't stop until you reach your destination. Your success and recovery are within reach. Dear Warriors of Resilience, I want to share a powerful idea with you, one that might change the way you think about your journey to sobriety. It's a concept from a remarkable book called The Courage to be Disliked by Ichiro Kishimi. The book suggests that those who are willing to stand out from the crowd, to embrace their uniqueness, and do what they need to do to get what they need to get are often the most successful in life. Think about it for a moment. The people who have achieved greatness, who have transformed their lives, were not afraid to be different, to challenge the status quo, and to follow their own path. Now I want you to pause and reflect on your life. Think of moments when you achieved success, whether big or small. Remember that time when you tackled a challenge head on and came out victorious? It might have been in your career, in your personal life, or in any other area. 
What do these moments of success have in common? It's courage. Yes, courage is the secret sauce that pushed you through those tough times, that propelled you towards your goals, and that made you the resilient person you are today. It took courage to face your fears, to believe in yourself, and to take action when others hesitated. Now let's apply this concept to your journey towards sobriety. Breaking free from addiction is undoubtedly one of the most challenging battles you'll ever face. It will take courage. Courage to admit you have a problem. Courage to seek help. And courage to commit to your recovery. Just like those moments of success in your life, this journey will require you to be different, to challenge the norms, and to follow your own path towards healing. It won't be easy, but remember, it's the willingness to stand out and embrace your courage that will lead you to a life free from the chains of addiction. Believe in yourself, just as you've done before. Believe that you have the courage to break through to the other side of addiction. Surround yourself with a support network that champions your courage and never forget that you are not alone in this battle. As you embark on the transformative journey, know that you have within you the same courage that has carried you through past successes. Embrace it. Nurture it and let it guide you towards a future filled with clarity, health, and happiness. I have unwavering belief in your courage. Do you? Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and cherished friends. Today I want to talk to you about something profoundly personal and deeply empowering. The importance of protecting your inner peace on the path to sobriety. It's a journey that often requires more strength and resilience than we ever thought we possessed. And at times, it demands that we stand firmly on our own, taking charge of our destiny. I'd like to start by sharing a personal story, a story of family, love, and the lessons learned when facing challenges on the road to recovery. It was a time when a loved one used to confide in me with the frustration they felt in their own life. I listened with empathy, offering my support and understanding. You see, if you're from the South, then you probably had a family dynamic like mine. Basically, we are taught to respect our elders. Even if you're an elder cousin, an older brother, or even a twin that's older than you by a minute, they got the utmost respect while the younger ones had to listen and be submissive. In many ways, my cousin and I were wiser than the older people before us, partially because we got a chance to see a lot of the mistakes that they made and decided for ourselves 
not to do them. So time after time, we confided in each other about the frustrations of being younger yet wiser than our family counterparts. My cousin in particular would talk to me endlessly about how bad it felt to have a brain and be a critical thinker but be subjected to the confines of the family that was older, more dominant, and controlling than she. But when it was my turn to share my own problems, something unexpected happened. That same cousin, the person I had supported for so long, abandoned me. They withdrew, leaving me feeling abandoned and rejected. Initially, I internalized this rejection, believing that the problem must lay with me. After all, she was also being rejected. Why was I suffering alone in silence? I was plagued by questions. Why was I feeling pain even though I knew that this person had felt the same pain? Why did I feel insecure and unloved? It was a difficult period of self-doubt and confusion. And since a lot of this occurred in our teenage years, my identity was wrapped in how other people perceived me, even my cousin. But as I reflect on that time now, I realize a profound truth. I was not responsible for the action of others or hers, and their shortcomings did not define my work. My cousin, whom I had relied on for support, was struggling in her own way. She was unable to live in her purpose, and that didn't have to be my problem to solve. I held true to my values, to the belief in my own worthiness, and I created the space I needed to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Today, I stand before you as a testament to the power of resilience and self-belief. I share this story because I want the same for each one of you. I want you to realize the importance of protecting your inner peace and not relying on others to define your journey to sobriety. Consider this. Who in your life isn't showing up for you? Who is contributing to your addiction, acting as a barrier against your path to sobriety? These are tough questions, but they are essential. It's easy to place the blame on external factors, to believe that others hold the key to our happiness or our recovery. But the truth is, the power to transform your life lies within you. It's about taking responsibility for your own journey and recognizing that others' actions do not define your worth or your potential for change. So what do you need to do to fully show up as the person you need to be on your path to sobriety? It begins with reclaiming your power and your peace. Number one, set boundaries. Sometimes we need to establish healthy boundaries with those who are not supportive of our journey. It's okay to distance yourself from negative influences and prioritize your well-being. Number two, seek support. Surround yourself with a support system that truly understands and encourages your journey. Seek out friends, family, or support groups that can provide the understanding and empathy you need. Number three, self-reflection. Take time to reflect on your own values, desires, and goals. Define what recovery means to you and focus on aligning your actions with your vision. Number four, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness allows you to be fully present in the moment, free from judgments and distractions. It can help you navigate the challenges of recovery with greater clarity and self-awareness. Number five, self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Understand that setbacks are a part of the journey. Treat yourself with the same love and understanding that you would offer to a dear friend. 
In closing, I want you to remember that your journey to sobriety is ultimately a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. It's about finding the strength within you to protect your inner peace and define your own path. You are not alone in this journey. You are surrounded by individuals who believe in your capacity to change. And most importantly, you have the power to believe in yourself. As you move forward, let go of the weight of external expectations and judgments. Embrace the freedom to be the author of your own story. Thank you for allowing me to share this moment with you. May you find the strength to protect your peace and discover the boundless potential within you and your path to sobriety. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, today we gather in this digital space connected by a common thread the journey towards recovery from addiction. We are here to talk about a powerful tool that can guide us through the most challenging moments in life, faith. Now, when I speak of faith, I don't mean to impose any particular belief upon you. Faith can take many forms. It can be your unwavering trust in Allah, the boundless love of God, or any spiritual forces that resonate with your soul. What's important is that you have faith, a source of strength that transcends the struggles you face. For me, my faith rests in Jesus. And in the book of Matthew 18, 20, it is written, for where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. We are gathered here today in this digital space and we are rooting for you praying for you and supporting you in your journey to recovery. I want you to take a moment and reflect on your life. Think back to a time when you faced what seemed like an insurmountable obstacle. Maybe it was learning to ride a bike, passing a challenging grade, or overcoming a personal crisis. Remember how helpless you felt at times, how daunting the task seemed? But now consider this. While you undoubtedly put in hard work, dedication and perseverance, there was something greater than yourself that carried you over the edge. It was as if a divine force intervened, giving you the strength and guidance you needed to prevail. Today, I want you to reconnect with that truth. Understand that the same divine intervention that helped you in those moments is available to you right now. It's within your reach, waiting for you to tap into it, to surrender to it, and to allow it to carry you through to recovery. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up. It means giving in to the possibility of a brighter, addiction-free future. It means acknowledging that just as you've been carried through challenges before, you can be carried through this one as well. Lean on your faith, whatever form it takes, and let it be your guiding light. Have faith in yourself, in the support system around you, and in the higher power that walks beside you. Believe that recovery is not just possible, it's inevitable. As you embark on this journey, remember that you are not alone. You are surrounded by individuals who care about your well-being, who believe in your strength, and who are here to walk this path with you. Reach out to them, share your struggles, and let their support bolster your faith. Today, I ask you to surrender to the power of faith. Trust that just as you've conquered obstacles before, you will overcome addiction. Have faith in the better days that lie ahead and know that we are here to support you every step of the way. May your faith be your beacon of hope, 
guiding you through the darkest nights towards the dawn of recovery. Remember, you are stronger than you know, and with faith as your compass, you will find your way. Thank you, and may your journey be blessed with strength, courage, and unwavering faith. In a world where the rest of the world may be sleeping, you, my friend, are wide awake. You're not just awake, you're on the attack and your target is success. But here's the thing, it doesn't start with them or they, it starts with you. So I'm asking you, when are you going to make it personal? Are you truly prepared to battle the demons of addiction every single day? Everyone desires recognition and applause from the public, but nobody wants to face the private discipline that's essential. It's in those private moments behind the scenes where real change happens. It's when your private life begins to shift, when you put aside the things that are no longer serving you. If it's going to be personal, make it genuinely personal. Don't just strive for greatness in public. Be great in private. Understand that success doesn't always have to be loud. Sometimes it's the quiet moments that count. Are you ready to do whatever it takes to regain control of your life? You have to live, breathe, and eat this purpose. Every single day, you're either losing ground or gaining momentum. Understand this. You won't win anything until you truly grasp the meaning of struggle. You can never quit trying to pursue sobriety, but you have to work on your sobriety goals in silence. We're going to walk where nobody's watching and we're going to sacrifice behind the scenes. When you take it personally, your private life 
transforms. Success is a process and the process counts before success. The struggle comes before the process. Everybody wants to contribute to destiny, but nobody wants to be committed to it. So what kind of work are you putting in behind the scenes? Can you conquer your demons in the dark? How personal is your purpose? Let me tell you something. It's all about passion, discipline, awareness, and accountability. You have to be accountable for your actions, but are you truly prepared to grind it out? Are you ready to dig deeper, fight harder, and put in overtime? Somewhere along the way, you might have lost your footing, felt the cold creeping in, but achievers, rain or shine, they keep building. They've sacrificed, they've suffered, and they're committed. To succeed, you must be committed. You need to give everything you've got every single day. Are you putting in the work even when no one's watching? Can you conquer your addiction battle in silence. Not everyone needs to understand your true motives, your purpose, or your mission. It's about passion, discipline, awareness, and accountability. Now, my friends, it's time to grind, time to fight, time to believe, and time to know that your success story is yet to be written. Don't sit back and have a pity party. Seize your opportunities. You want success? Go get it. You want to be better? Then be better. You want something more than what you have right now? Go after it with unwavering desire. Look, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know you've been called to do something, to accomplish something, to build something to connect with someone. The dots will connect. Every moment is an opportunity of a lifetime. Are you committed or are you just contributing? The choice is yours. Make it personal this time. Know that you have work to do and that the work you do will determine your outcome, but do it in silence. The ones who need to be a part of your journey, they'll be there. The doubters, the naysayers, tell them to be quiet because they have nothing to do with your success. You didn't reach this point overnight and yes, you've had sleepless nights, and amazing dreams of what you could become. Can you stretch yourself, condition yourself, believe again, see it again, write it down and make it personal. Your journey starts with you, not the people around you, not your past, but where you are and where you're going. Can you look ahead Stress for it, condition yourself, and prepare yourself for the next step? Let me ask you this, what kind of work are you putting in behind the scenes? Can you conquer your addiction in the dark? How personal is your purpose? This is what we call grinding in silence. You got this. Today, I'm asking you to welcome the challenges that come your way. Embrace them with open arms, for it's within these challenges that your true potential is revealed. Fall in love with the process. After all, it's your path 
to greatness. Today, I need you to fall in love with the journey itself, not just the destination. Success isn't just about the end goal. It's about the growth and transformation that happens along the way. The key to overcoming discouragement is to approach it with unwavering resolve. There will be moments when it's easy to get discouraged, to lose your passion and doubt if your dreams are meant to be. But let me tell you, to reach your destiny, you need unwavering determination. You must act with resilience in the face of adversity. If you give up after the first setback or the fifth or even the 30th, it simply means that you didn't desire it strongly enough. What you truly believe in, you pursue relentlessly. You must believe in the impossible. You have to have unshakable faith. You don't waver in the face of apparent impossibility. You're not discouraged by the passage of time and you don't bow down to rejection. Your attitude is clear. I will believe for as long as it takes. No answer will be a no, I accept. Mediocrity is not my destiny. I will relentlessly chase what's etched in my heart. The vision of sobriety will drive you. It provides the power you need for clarity. Take a moment and ask yourself, what is it that I genuinely desire? Do I really seek sobriety? Write it down, for in the act of writing, thoughts become tangible. As you see the thoughts grow, you're building a vision in your mind. Remember, visionaries are the ones who have changed the world. Mental preparation is the key to your competitive edge. In your quest for sobriety, remember that the mind knows no limitations. We often focus on the physical aspects of preparation, but forget that it all starts in the mind. Mental readiness is where it begins. It's your secret weapon, your competitive edge. Visualize your sober life as you look to the future. Decide not to let your fears hinder you. No matter what you need to do, do it because life will continue to test you until you overcome your hesitations. When you're young and make mistakes, don't let them consume you. Understand that everyone who succeeded has also stumbled. Failure is an essential part of the journey to sobriety and success. You must stumble to rise. Remember, the road to sobriety is always under construction, never a clear path. Sobriety belongs to those with unwavering determination. Hold on tight through tough times, as those bad breaks often come just before your biggest breakthrough. Believe that no matter how many times you stumble, you can always rise again. Your life is a testament to the fact that you can recover, grow, and ultimately thrive. In your journey, as you venture into uncharted territory, remember the key to transformation lies in the relentless spirit, your resilience in the face of adversity, and your unshakable faith in your own potential. Remember, the process of mastering sobriety isn't always smooth selling. Embrace the learning curve, welcome the challenges, and find joy in the journey. Every obstacle is an opportunity to learn, grow, and become better. Life's battles are not always won by the strongest, but by those who refuse to give up. Your determination is your greatest asset. In the face of adversity, remember that your relentless attitude will carry you through even the darkest times. Setbacks, failures, disappointments, they're not dead ends. They are stepping stones on your path to sobriety. Every time you face adversity, you're one step closer to your goals. These moments often precede your greatest victories. Your unwavering faith in your dreams and your hopes for sobriety is the fuel that propels you forward. No matter how challenging the journey becomes, your belief in yourself and your goals will keep you moving in the right direction. Change is the only constant in life, and your ability to adapt to it will define your success. 
Be open to new opportunities, new experiences, and new perspectives. Embracing change is the key to personal growth and achievement. Fear can be a powerful force, but it doesn't have to control your destiny. As you face your fears head on, push through them, you'll discover a newfound sense of freedom and strength. Remember, perfection is not the goal, progress is. Celebrate every step forward, no matter how small. Each step brings you closer to your dreams and transforms you into the person you want to become. In life's ever-changing landscape, your greatest assets are resilience and adaptability. Stay strong in the face of adversity and be ready to pivot when needed. It's your ability to weather the storm that will set you apart. No matter the obstacles you face or the challenges that come your way, commit to your aspirations. Your unwavering commitment is what will propel you forward and keep you on the path to success. In your journey to sobriety, believe in the process, believe in yourself, and believe in your dreams. Your unshakable faith will guide you through the toughest times and lead you to the success you desire. Life's tests and trials are not meant to break you, but to mold you into stronger, more resilient versions of yourself. Embrace each challenge, learn from each setback, and keep moving forward with unwavering determination. Your destiny is within your reach, and your journey is a testament to the incredible heights you can achieve.